This the chopper power. 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 I am Fat Man, and this is the chopper power. Oh my God. We had a better day with Jay Graham. Yeah, what's happening? What's Family, happening? dog. Man, thank you for pulling I'm up. Forward, bro. I'm forward, man, I appreciate man. your love, man. Thank you for having me, bro. For sure. For sure, it's all love, man. Definitely, bro. What's going on with you? I ain't shit, man. Just trying to maintain, bro. You know, yeah. I've been just doing my music thing, doing my um, comedy skits. You know, okay. I do a little bit of modeling and everything, too, bro. So Real just, shit. I'm just trying to, yeah, bro. Do, do everything, it's bro. It's bridge and hustle. I'm trying to, trying to try to get one of them doors open. It's open. Yeah, that's how you handle that, bro. Trying to get one of them doors open. That's it, bro. That's how you handle that, bro. I had I had got an opportunity to look over some of your content. Man, the funny dude, man. I see you mix I it up a little you. bit, I appreciate man. You, my brother. I try to mix things up, man. Put the positivity out there, man. You know, try to give people some smiles, bro. Okay. Like, especially in this cold world here. That's what it's all about, bro. You, you ever know? did any stand up? I ain't never did no stand up. I gotta get on my stand up shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. People been telling me my thing is, bro. I'm not as comfortable with my stand up as I'm with my music. Mm -hmm. People be in the stage for my music shit. I ride the crowd. I live for like five, five hundred, five million. When it come to that comedy, that shit a different beast. It is. And I, that comedy, you go up there with that bullshit, right. the first five minutes, they bull your ass up off that bitch. Mm -hmm. And that shit, I mean, it happens to the best, but. It does. I, <clears throat> I'm just not as comfortable doing it here, bro. I just gotta jump into it, but I just ain't really been fucking with it, bro. I just do my skits. So I do um, different um, characters and shit like right, that. Right, right. type of shit and just run like that, bro. You know what I mean? I ain't gotta worry about nobody else. I ain't gotta call on nobody, bitch. I got my own characters. You know yeah, that's how you do it. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's how you do it, bro. Yeah, bro. That, I, man, I had a couple comedies, uh, comedians on here too, man. Uh, Bertram Cornelius, Corey Cognac, uh, what a gangster comedian, 954, Kiba D. Um, and they, they say the same thing, man. Yeah, bro. It's a different beast. That shit a different beast, bro. That shit ain't no bullshit. You it ain't. Know, some bullshit, bro. You gotta think. When you go to the uh, improv, it's a uh, two drink minimum. Yeah. So when you see by the time you get on there, everybody right, everybody fucked up. You, oh, can I cuss? Yeah, man. I'm, come on, right. I'm bad. I'm bust. Everybody, everybody fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how that shit go when you come in there. Niggas want to laugh and have a good time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You go in there with that stuttering and them dry ass jokes. Get your ass off the motherfucker. Straight up. Straight up, bro. And you want to try doing eventually? I try. I, the thing about me, I like to fight, man. All oh, that booing and all of that shit. I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take it personal, bro. You feel me? With the, with, not so much with the music. If that happened, if the boo would come with it, because I knew this assholes in the music. But yeah. niggas are disrespectful at the comedy shows, yeah. bro. You yeah. feel me? And I know you gotta separate that shit from. But just me, bro. I got a little temper, bro. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I take an ass with I get it. I ain't I scared it. of taking ass with That's yeah. my main focus. Now, they come up on stage with me, dog. I'll do something too. Yeah, straight up. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's just a different beast, bro. But I, I, I eventually get into it. Bro. I just gotta jump into it. Bro. Everybody say, just jump in, stop bullshit. Man, hey, man. Yeah. If you feel it like that, man? Don't get up there right this moment. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I don't know, bro. I gotta get on it though. But that's how you gonna make more. You know what I'm saying? More, more people. You better believe like it, man. I got jokes for days, bro. I can just sit in front of people and just look a joke, bro. But. I just gotta be comfortable, bro. No you doubt. Know what I'm saying. I, no think, I, don't, I think I'll go up there and do straight, bro. But yeah, yeah. It's, I'm not a hundred. Like, well, I mean, right, like, I'm a right. hundred with the comedy um, stand up. Right. I'm about 70, 75. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I wanna be at least 90. Okay. Going up on the people's stage. Bro. Okay. My dog told me to start going to some amateur night. They got. What I'm gonna tell you? Open yeah, mic night. They got open mic nights over there in um, improv. I'm gonna start fucking with it. Corey Cognac. Uh, the West, he up there. Where you at? West Palm Beach. He always looking for art, artists to come up there and do their thing. Straight man. Up? Comedian. Yeah, Corey yeah, Cognac. Look him up, man. White dude, man. Solid. Brother, he was actually in one of my films, man. But uh, he, he always looking for talent, man. Yeah, straight up, yeah, definitely. definitely man. Man. I gotta, gotta get on to that, bro. Man, yeah. hey, that's cool as shit. How, hey, how long you been doing the skits and shit, though? Shit, I've been doing the skits now, what, about four years? Okay. Four, five years. Okay. Yeah, four, okay. five years, and then the music about nine, nine, ten okay. years. Yeah, okay. but the skits came out of nowhere, to be honest with you, bro. I mean, because I, I did, I did do acting. Okay. But just one day I did a skit with my um, daughter, my, my my kids and shit. That shit got like crazy, though. I got like what? 70,000 views, that Whoa. shit just went crazy. Whoa. And then from there, I just started doing little skits, bro, and then people just liked it, you feel me? So when I had a, when I really started taking it serious, I had a chick tell me, man, her mom just died from cancer. Okay. And she'd be watching her skits and that shit, watching my skits and that shit makes her smile and make her day. I'm like, damn, I don't really know the, I didn't really know the effect. Yeah. That sometimes I'm not really getting money for it, but it's a, that's a different type of feeling. It when is. Somebody tell you they appreciate your art. It is. And just put a smile on their face, and from there, I just been doing it from them, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? I keep just try to put going, smiles on your face, bro. Keep going. That, you know, that's more worth more 
for the money, man. It is, bro. But it's, it's, you got to keep the balance stuff up because when you do this funny shit, people think you pussy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They take you for pussy and try to run over you, bro. And, right, right. You know what I'm saying? People don't, they, not to say they don't respect you, but they don't take when you tell jokes, they take you for a joke. Right. So sometimes you just it's just having that balance. I love to do the comedy thing, bro, but sometimes too, people take that shit. Yeah, yeah. Take that shit out of, out of pocket. You they know can. And it comes with the territory, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, where you grow up at, Graham? Shit, I'm born in New York, Queens, New York. And I moved to Florida when I was 12, West Palm Beach, Florida. So you be a majority of your yeah, life? Yeah, this is the career. I came to New York two days, bro. Two days in New York, I bring my ass right back. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Still got family down there? I got some family up there. Yeah. I got some family up there and shit. Man, it's like the Mecca, man. Down it's in the New Mecca, York, bro. man. New York, New York, as well. I miss that shit sometimes, bro, but the, the weather, and it's just like, I go back up there, man, everybody ain't a motherfucking damn near running. It's Sunday. Yeah. Come niggas is running for that shit. Just a different vibe out there, bro. You know right, I mean? right. It's straight though. I, I, I liked it growing up, but I just got so accustomed to Florida. Right. It's, it's the crib, bro. Right. You know, no matter where I, I did a lot of traveling, bro. No matter where I go, South Florida is really where I want to be at, bro. Straight, straight up. Say, you feel me? Straight up. I gotta get to straight LA, bro. That's the place where everything happening, bro. But with these, I have my kids and shit. Right. This How many kids cool. got, bro? Got four. Four kids. Three girls. I would never thought that, bro. Three girls and a boy. Mmm. Three girls. How old the oldest one is? My oldest one is 14. 14. Mm -hmm. God damn, girl. How old are you, nigga? 37. 37. I'm old. I'm, I'm, old, I'm an old head, nigga. I'm an hey, old head. Hey, man. Ain't no road there. Yeah, I like family, head, bro. Yeah, I'm big on family, bro. Well, it's crazy, bro, because to be honest with you, bro, I wasn't planning on having no kids, man. But things just happened, bro. I caught a case and when I caught this case, I thought she was gonna be gonna she be shit gonna be bad and I just was wild and I was playing ball. I got kicked up the basketball team, so I picked up drinking. Okay. I was just on some wild shit, bro. And right. no, no disrespect to my, my baby moms, because all of them, bro, these are, these are women that I've known for some time. This was right. just no one night. Right. Shit. And then I was just wilding out, bro, you know, and I just had a lot of these kids back to back. Okay, back same back woman? Nah, different women. Three, three. three different women. Yeah, three different women. That's all right, man. Yeah, you, you, are, you ain't married, are you? Nah, I ain't married, bro. I'm okay. single. Single okay. man, bro. Single man, man, bro. Do your thing, yeah, man. I'm trying, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm trying to settle down this shit, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just Take your time, so much man. politics these days, man. Even with relationships, it's politics, bro. So, yeah. Yeah. it's better off being by myself. I do bad by myself, bro. Straight up. Straight up. Man. By myself, dog. Damn, man. The music, man. I want to touch on the music a little bit, man. How long you been recording? You say nine years. But shit, longer than that, done. Longer than nine. Yeah, like ten, ten years on and off. You got some EPs and albums out there? We my, we my dog, my dog JD. Okay, shout out to JD, man. That's the JD305, I've been doing this shit for a minute. But um, yeah, I've been doing it for a while, bro. i just been on and off with it, though. You know, I stopped fucking with the music and shit for a while because I love the music, bro, but having these kids, that shit's expensive. You yeah. know, you got, yeah. you got studio time, yeah. you gotta get masters, you gotta get videos. I mean, that's your craft, you love your craft, that's what you gotta do, but I can't tell my kids daddy can't buy you these shoes because I gotta have a music video. Straight up. You feel me? Straight I, I up. can't tell my kids that, yeah. dog. You feel me? My daddy passed, so now I'm taking care of my mama and shit, so okay. I got a lot on my plate, bro. You know JD, I mean? kill that out, Jay. Hey, hey um. Hold it a motherfucker. Yeah, kill that out, Jay. Um, I, that's why yeah, I was finna ask you about your pop, man. Yeah, man. Uh, when your pop passed away? Uh, two years ago. It'll be three years in May. Three years in May? Three years in May, man. That shit, that shit hurt, man. It wasn't no accident, was it? Just out of the blue, bro. He just had a stroke. Wow. In, in our backyard. Oh, had wow. A stroke in our backyard. And, um, mm. It's just crazy, bro. And fucking, he passed out. And the crazy shit is, bro, I was supposed to go somewhere. I was supposed to go get a tattoo that day. Okay. I just said, let me just fuck around and just stay. Same one feeling good that day. Eating my dinner. And my mama knock on the door. I'm like, nah, maybe. Same mean shit, though, because they in the backyard. Here, knock on the door again. Boom, boom, boom. I go out there. He laid out face down in the grass. It looked like some shit out the movie, bro. Wow. Wow, go ahead. No, you straight, but dog. You straight. Go ahead, Jay. No, I'm listening, bro. You good, dog. Yeah, bro. It looked like some shit out the movie, bro. So I jumped on. Um, I had to go on there, do CPR on them. My mama screaming, the dog going crazy. I'm trying to do CPR, call 911, the phone hang up. Long story short, bro, I gave him CPR and gave him extra week to live, but he died a week later. Wow. So in my head, bro, it's my fault. Every day I'm living with that shit. When I close my eyes, I'm on medication and everything to try to get sleep on this shit. You feel me? Like, until I close my eyes, that's all I see, bro. You Damn, know? bro. Sorry to hear that, man. Bro. I appreciate you. My condolences, man. It's like, and that was my, that was my heart. You know what I'm saying? Unless most of us brothers, we don't got our fathers. You know what right. And I was lucky to have mom for 35 years. So, your mom and dad were married for uh, 47. 47 years. 47 years. 47 years. Wow. 47. How your mom doing, man? How she, she holding up? She doing good, man. Them Jamaican dudes, them island women, man, they different. Yeah, they so She holding up good. I'm, I do more crying than her, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She doing good, bro. I try to keep her strong, you know? Right. I'm just, just taking care of her and just taking care of my kids, man. And just trying to do my craft, bro, you know? She in Palm Beach as well? Yeah, she in Palm Beach. Oh, yeah, she in Palm Beach, bro. Hey, 
but just with all that shit going to happen, man, that shit makes it hard. <clears throat> How many <clears throat> siblings you got? Just you? I got a sister and a brother, but my sister live in Auburn. They both live in London. Okay, so we don't really see each other that much, but we do, we do communicate though. I love my sister and shit. We communicate, but I don't really see them. Like, I grew up by myself. Okay. So we got, um, and my sister and brother, we got different daddies. I got you. So they lived in, they grew up in London. And okay. We, we talked though, me and my sister talked. Okay. okay. But um, I just really grew up by myself, so I'm just dealing with all this shit by myself, trying to take care of my mom. All these fucking bills just came up almost overnight, bro. Yeah, I know it's part of being a man, bro, but it's just I hard, know it's so, overwhelming sometimes. And it's like, it makes it hard to do comedy when I'm hurt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know that's part of being an actor. You got to put that shit out there. You know right. what I'm saying? Because Kevin Hart dealt with this shit and he still. Yeah. He should have signed. lost his dad, too. <clears throat> you still got to go to work. Yeah, you better believe you it. You still got to go to work, but man, it makes it so hard. It does. To do that shit when, you know what I'm saying? You just you hurt, bro. It yeah, does, man. bro. You know what I mean? It I'm does. I'm still bro. grieving the shit, bro, but I'm trying to stay strong and I got family and niggas like my nigga JD. You know what I'm saying? Right. Kept, kept me strong, you know what I mean? Right, right. But a lot right. of times I'd be like, fuck the music and all that, but. And nigga don't let me quit. You keep motivating. You the reason why I'm still fucking the music, man. Don't, you, man. don't stop, homie. Keep yeah, creating, right. man. Keep building, man. I appreciate you, my brother. Definitely keep networking. I'm trying, I mean. I'm trying, my brother. Well, so where you record most of your music? You got one producer you deal with? I get a bunch of different beats, but I usually record with my dog, JD. He got, okay. a, little, he got a little setup at the okay. crib. Okay. But I get a bunch of beats from him. So I'm trying to get beats online. Okay. That's another thing, getting beats sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Beats about three, four, five hundred dollars. Yeah, they're expensive. You feel what I'm saying? This, I mean, if you get into your craft, you do it, but it's like, you don't know what's going to happen with this motherfucker. So yeah. yeah, you that's don't. That's just five hundred for the beat before I even written anything to the yeah. motherfucker. That's yeah. five hundred, yeah. depending on how, you know what I'm saying? But I could do some producers that just give me cheap beats and shit like that, and my dog would give me some beats, and then we'll just record over them. It come them. with the game, though. They come with the game, bro. I see a lot of guys buying beats off the internet now, too. Hey, that's what I be doing now. Yeah. That's what I be I doing now, bro. You know what I mean? But it come with, it come with the territory, bro. It if you does. love it, it come with the territory. It's just you got so much uh, priorities, bro. Right. I got to right. put certain priorities in front of that no shit. Doubt. You know no, doubt. no doubt. No doubt. No Most importantly, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the... Uh, the uh fucking uh the skits, man. Yeah. These characters you done created, bro. Yeah, bro. How they came to be the characters you done created, man. Bro, to be honest with you, dog, it's just people I done met in my life. And just, because like I said, I'm my only child, bro. So I spent a lot of time in the world just speaking to myself. And I, I grew up on television, bro. So I would just watch so much different shit. And then just watching people out and about in the clubs. And okay. Just, and I just take those characters sometimes. And I just put it all together, bro. You know okay. what I mean? What I've done is I've told stories before about certain shit. Right. I have a bunch of friends around, and I'll tell a certain story, and I mm -hmm. see the reaction I'll get to that story. So I say, you know what, I'm gonna make a, make a skit out of that. Right, boom. From there, you get what I'm saying? Oh, that nigga turned that shit into reality. A little, just a little shit like that, bro. And that's how I get all my little characters, bro. I got the white boy. Yeah, you know, I, see I saw that. Guy. I got a whole bunch of different shit, bro. I try to hit different angles, though, bro. I don't want to be just one dimensional, you know what I'm saying? But with the white boy shit, it's, it's controversial because people take it personal. Right. You know, people take it personal, but right. it's right. jokes, bro. Hey, man, it's you know comedy, man. It's jokes, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just what I'm on, bro. Hey. It's, just, it's jokes. I do whatever to make people laugh. Just one thing I won't do is I'm not putting on a dress. Okay. I won't, I won't put on a dress. I like that. I, I mean, like that. I mean, to each his own and no disrespect to anybody that does, but just me. Right. I'm not putting on a, bird, a, a, a fucking dress. Right, right. It's right. not happening, bro. A lot of times. They make us African Americans put on fucking dresses. The most masculine men. Yeah. Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Ving Rhames. Ving Rhames, yeah. Ving, Ving Rhames. Yeah. Everybody in you think they put on Rock. the Rock. The um, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Martin. Yeah. There's so many of that. That's Chris, a lot. That's Chris a Rock, Tracy Morgan. This goes but like on. Like I said, I'm not, these are all guys I looked up to. I used right. to watch all these guys, you know what I'm saying? And that's what made the comedy. Eddie Murphy was the one that started that shit. Mm -hmm. And he, 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 he evolution. It was an evolution, but just me. I just don't, I'm just not to put on a dress. Bro. Right, right. If right. I can't get it, how I can get it like that? I do everything, but I can't do the dress shit. Right, right. I, 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 I mean, I was watching, uh, it was a while back, I was watching one of Chappelle's shits. When they say, he said, I was watching an uh, interview he did when he said they, they bought a dress in his, in his uh, trailer that's, one day. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's it. That's he shit. said, I think that was the last time he did anything when the, when the dress I'm came in there. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, ain't too many customers. They're going to give you that check. They're going to tell you, let's put on this dress. And that check is hard to say no to. When you seen some shit like that, when you see some shit like that, you ain't never seen before. It's a lot of money, man. It ain't nothing. Just put on this dress real quick. I changed my life, which is true. You're right. You don't know what feeling so you're in that predicament. You feel what I'm saying? But right, right. Just me, I just was just stern on not putting on no dress, man. Straight up. And Straight my mom up. always put me on the Cindy Portier for one of the first black actors. Right, right. She was Boy, always keen on those type of things. She was always just to say what I do to acting shit to make sure right, I stick right. to that. I feel like a guy could be funny without that, man. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on. It's bro. gotta be. Niggas could be funny without. Out there. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know could be funny man. without doing yeah. that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe, but again, to each his own, I'm not knocking anybody that does right, that shit. Right. But I just, for me, 
I just feel like there's other ways that I can get on without going on the motherfucker. I agree, bro. You feel I me? agree. And they do it like that all the fucking time, man. I agree. I, I want to ask you about the song Script, man. Yeah. That's my shit. How that song came to be, bro? Shit, to be honest with you, like I said, bro, I spent a lot of time just in my head, bro. So, my day I was just in, at the career, bro, I just had a little... Little, little melody in my head. So let me go on the line and just go on and try to see if I find me a little beat. Okay. Find a little beat to that bitch. Boom, let's go. Send that bitch to my dog. You, try, you always meet my dog, always collab. Straight up. Send that bitch to my dog. You trying to fuck with it? Boom, let's run it. And just run it from there, bro. You feel me? And I think that's a that's the type of shit that I be on, though, bro. The music that I'm on, I'm on so like a, I want to party. You feel what I'm saying? I'm the type of nigga that want to party. You know what I'm saying? I want to vibe. You know right. what I mean? I mean? I'm not with all that uh, shoot 'em up shit. Right. If you're looking for that type of music, that's not me. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm about that shit. Right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not pussy, but I don't go looking for trouble, bro. And I don't really put that music out there. You know what I'm saying? Of uh, murder, death, kill. Right. You know, that's right. just not right. my idea. Right. Right. Energy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I just like to put out good music. Yeah. You know, so make us trying to make What's us your shit. take on that, man? I'm glad you brought that up, man. What's your take on the uh, the, the climate of rap now, man? It's just crazy, bro. So the, with the uh, what they call what they call that the uh, uh, genre of music or. Uh, Drill, yeah. Drill, that's just crazy, bro. Yeah, I agree. Shout out to Chief Keith. He started that shit. That shit is crazy, though, bro. I, I mean, once I seen him do that shit, I said it to myself. I said, oh, shit, that's going to change the game. That shit done morphed. It's like if you don't have a music video with, with Fire and not it, the video ain't, ain't good. Yeah. Nobody, everybody want to see Fire. Yeah. Fire and that bitch. And then you about to shoot. The niggas, I, I'm not on that, bro. I and do. I don't believe it. That's why. I, I believe you bring this, energy to you, dog. That you. Energy. My dog told me the energy you put out was yeah. going to get in return. You bring that back, bro. You Even if, and what happens is a lot of these niggas really not about that. They right. don't have that fire and all of that. So right. now we got the image like, okay, that nigga's about that. So now when we see you out, yeah, nigga gonna press you. Energy, nigga gonna press you because they yeah. ain't got nothing else better to do to see if you really about that. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I don't really put out that message. You, know, you got to stand up to them and stand up on that shit. You better believe. Everything it. that I talk about is real. I talk about being. I had a song called Broken Fly. I always talk about this old motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't got much money, nigga, but I still take your bitch. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> don't get this shit fucked up. You get what I'm saying? And that's what different, because everybody talk about shoot them up, money and dope. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't talk about dope. Yeah. I don't sort through no, do what I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I don't talk no dope, no shit like that. You right, know what I, mean? I, right. just, I just talk about what's me. Right. You know what I'm saying? What I've been through, nigga. You know what I mean? Because I got to stand on that shit with over and over. Straight up, man. You got to stand on that shit. Man, I'm, you know a, I'm a big proponent of that, uh, Graham, man. I, I hear what you're saying, yeah, bro. And I ain't, you know, some of the music I like, even though it got a Absolutely. lot of negligence. We love that shit. Uh, we talk, we yeah. love that shit. We, that's what we want to hear, nigga. Yeah. We want to hear that shit about Death Kill, but we don't understand how. These kids, just like, even my kids, bro, I be hearing them singing these fucking songs on the thing. They know that shit word for word yeah. with the cussing shit. Like, my, um, this shit is just wild, man. It's, it's just, we don't understand how much this yeah. shit it influences the kids. It does, bro. So now these kids that's coming out of the suburbs that don't know nothing about this right. shit, right? hearing about this pistol shit. It's first, okay, now as soon as I can get to age, I'm gonna get me a pistol. Yeah. I'm gonna start being on these plays, and they're really not those type of people. Let me go online because that's what everybody gets right. to get confused up. It's dangerous, bro. That, that shit is crazy, bro. It's fucking dangerous. I was listening to uh, day before yesterday, I listened to an old clip of uh, Tupac, and he was speaking with uh, a guy out of California, the guy who later died. I forgot the guy's name, but uh, it was a private conversation they had. I don't even know how people got this footage, man. But he was speaking about that too when he went and did a concert. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what he did the concert. I forgot what he said he did the concert at, but he said as the concert that week, a little kid had got killed. It's a story you can look it up. Some little kid yeah. got killed. And in the audience was the guys of the gang that supposedly had uh, the kid, executed the kid. Yeah. And uh, he said uh, before he went out there to do the show, he spoke with the family of the kid that got killed. And uh, they said to him, um, they were just telling him the whole rundown how it went down, this and that stuff, and he was against it. He say he was against. It. He say he see the game was out there in the audience throwing signs, this and that stuff. They was they was hyped up to his music or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Then he kind of stopped the beat. He told DJ to stop the beat. Like man, listen, man, I'm not promoting what happened to that kid, man. So if y'all own that with this about this kid, man, and this and that stuff, this ain't that. This ain't it. He said he started throwing shit on the stage. He said the first time he ever got shit thrown on the stage yeah. when he wasn't get behind what they was what they had done. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, you know bro. what I'm saying? That's how that shit go, bro. It yeah, do, bro. That shit, that shit follow you, bro. Yeah. And it will be on your ass. Yeah. You can't live your life, bro. Yeah. You can't live your fucking life. No, you gotta get you get you, you get the money, but you can't enjoy it. Right, right. It's just on your ass, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, Graham, you, hey, Graham, you independent, right? Yeah. You're an independent artist. Yeah, I'm an independent artist, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm an independent artist, bro. I just put my shit out there, bro. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hopefully, something take off, bro. What all platforms your music on? Shit, everything. I got that bitch on uh, SoundCloud, Apple Music, okay. uh, Tidal. I'm everywhere, bro. I'm all, all over the place. All over the place, bro. Yeah. I got, also, I do a little show, too. I got my little own show in, um, out of Italy. Okay. Yeah, I do, um, it's like a music television show. Okay. Countdowns on shows on um, music 
and shit like that. Oh, real shit. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to, just trying to, trying to get my hands on everything. Bro. I agree. I, get my hands I agree. On we got to fish in a lot of different water I'm holes, to, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I think we all got. I feel we all got a purpose, bro. We no, all I got agree. a purpose, and we just gotta find that bitch and just and just plug on that motherfucker. You feel like this your purpose, Brown? I, the music, I feel entertaining. I believe my purpose is to make people smile. Okay. Regardless of how that may be. Okay. Whether you smile at my music, whether you smile at my comedy, whether you smile at just me. Okay. My, I think my point on this earth, my, my point on earth is to make people smile. I'm with you. To make man. people happy. You know? I'm with you. I was speaking about this, uh, something in that level with my wife one day about, um, you know, how many people die and don't never find their purpose. There's more people die and leave the earth without never finding their purpose than it is people that find their purpose. It's just sad shit, bro. You know? see it every day like this. We go, we go to work every fucking day, bro. Nine to five. Or bullshit, don't get me wrong. Probably, I'm grateful for my job. Lord, don't say shit like that. I lose my motherfucking job. Yeah, straight so, up. Lord, I, I'm grateful for my job. Work is nine to five, bro. You get a bullshit check. Put them on your side. You gotta pay bills. All you're doing is living your life to, to fucking work. Correct, race. And you go on a goddamn vacation once a year if you're lucky. If you're lucky. To go right back to work and do the same fucking thing. Yo, there ain't no life to live. I agree. And you just, that's how we forget about our dreams because a lot of things happen. Like, I got my kids. I'm just lucky that I'm being able to still pursue it. But right. things happen with people that have this sort of situation where they can't pursue their dreams no more. Right, right. But that's what happens. We get tied up in everything, bro. Next thing you know, by the time we try to get on our craft, it's too late. We right. were dead. Didn't even know what the fuck we were supposed to do. Right, right. You spoke on a few minutes ago about, um, like having to make sacrifice with your kid. Kid need a pair of shoes, and and you got a, some shit you want to do on the entertainment side, and having yeah, to sacrifice that, man. Yeah, uh, speak a little bit on that, bro. Um, having to make them decisions, <laughs> man, knowing that these kids need X, Y, Z. I mean, that's just what it. I mean, like I said, bro, I'm not father of the year. I don't say all of that shit, bro. I try to do what I can for my kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, I got a dead end job, not making the best money, bro. So a lot of my shit that I gotta do, I gotta make sure I take care of my it's a different situation for me, bro. I mean it was always hard having four kids before my daddy died, but it's even harder now that he's gone because now I gotta take care of my mama. Right. I gotta still try to uphold the house. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's certain priorities I have. Right. As bad as I wanna go to these shows, as bad as I wanna do all of these things, I can't really do that because I gotta stay around for my mama. Right. I gotta make sure my kids are straight. You know right. what I'm saying? I, like I said, I have money so I wanna put towards my music, go to the studio, go um, buy some beats right. go get everything down I gotta make sure they straight before I can do all of that straight up because even if it's not even if they say it's okay daddy in my heart if, if it'll fucking bother me, you it, yeah. it'll bother me yeah, I yeah. can get this shoe because I put it toward a beat right or because I put it towards what I want to do and I know it's really not all about me anymore grand grown man shit you feel what I'm saying it's grown man money, shit that's what I'm trying to do that's why with the, the comedy the skits it's, right. it's a cheap thing it ain't nothing to me buy a wig it ain't nothing to yeah, right. put it invest in right. just, it's just all off of me and keep pumping and, content and just trying to keep pump content bro. Yeah. you know what I'm saying just trying to keep pump content man. just gotta get up with more people bro you know man Jay Graham man it's a pleasure man I, I, I wanna ask bro. you man would you perform a song for me before you go man absolutely bro you with that strip man okay love that record man I appreciate you. Dope that, artist, bro. man. Dope That's comedian, man. Bro, bro. You know what I mean? I, I now before I let you go, man. I, I, I had um so well, this some months ago. I see a lot of comedians, right? They don't really respect the the, the internet comedians, man. You, uh, it was a couple of them spoke out against it, man, because some guys got real popular behind doing it and started making money, and and, and, and comedians that actually go on stage had an issue with that. Can you speak on that, brother? What's your take on that? I mean, I feel like, bro, let, let a man let, let a man eat. You know what I'm saying? Let, let a nigga eat at the end of the day. Right. You know I mean, I don't know, bro. Uh, what was your question again, bro? My bad. My bad. <laughs> Yo, Bob, like, you know, the big bad. You ever had that shit happen, though, you get yeah. some shit? My yeah. Bad. <laughs> yeah, I done had that happen a lot of times, man. Look <laughs> yeah. at that call me by content. Fast. Well, you say it's different shit, nigga. Nice. This shit ain't even about on the nut, yeah, but you say it. Oh, my bad, yeah. my bad. We gotta snap back out of it. Hey, goddamn. man, it happened, yeah. bro. That was so cool about podcasts, oh, man. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all good, my bad, bro. My bad, brother. My bad. Um, just, just your thoughts on the, the, the internet comedian versus the one that has to get up there on the stage and do it. I mean, at the end of the day, dog, let him just do it. What's the, what's the difference, bro? Yeah. If a nigga eating, he doing something that's positive, bro. Right. It shouldn't even matter, bro. What, what is, if that nigga eats how off of that, let him eat off of that. My thing is, a lot of these guys, these internet guys, try to go up there and go on stage, and then when the shit don't work out, they confuse. I've always said you gotta have, when them lights go on, it's a different game. You got niggas at the basketball court that kill you at the basketball court. You put them niggas in a, in a real league with, yeah. a, with a goddamn, them lights in that rep, yeah. that, shit, that shit is a whole different ball game. Yeah. Same shit with the music. You got everybody that's doing rap. The rap is getting out, is, is, is drying out. Everybody does music. 
But it's a different story when you get on that stage. You got right. that lights in front of you. The nigga fuck straight up, straight right. up. Right. Same thing with that comedy. You got the comedians that's mm-hmm. on the internet making their money. They go on that stage and freeze up. It's right a up. different bitch. Right. At the end of the day, if a brother making his money off of doing what he doing, let a nigga eat. Yeah, man. let a nigga eat. And it's mostly it's also usually the coach that's coming down on, the, on each other like right. that, bro. Right. Let that nigga eat, bro. Yeah. He ain't robbing you. He ain't stealing right. from your family, dog. I think they only speak out personally because they see them guys getting money. That's what I'm saying. Through the jealousy. Net. So yeah, it's I jealousy, think, why would you what? would you say have an issue it's, with it? That's it, bro. That's yeah. that. It's just jealousy, bro. We don't right. have to. Sometimes I even catch myself doing it. Sometimes like my dogs are send me some shit about some comedy niggas. I be like, man, don't send me this shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get on fuck them niggas, yeah, bro. They, <laughs> but it ain't really that, bro. You feel me? Yeah. So it kind of niggas be on some. Sometimes that can happen though, but niggas just be on some jealous shit, bro. Yeah, you get I a agree. nigga eating, and you and you got niggas that's been on longer. And you got these kids that's been doing it for a year or two, and they eat way more than you. You've been on it for 10 years, and you ain't get on. Right. Of course you're going to feel it with. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's, it's like separating yourself from people. I agree, up. man. You know what I'm saying? I agree, man. <laughs> Jay Graham, man. Anything else you want to weigh in on before we get out of here, man? No, man. I just I appreciate you having me, my brother. You know me, hey, man. It's how you're trying to... It's love, bro. I appreciate you, man. It's love, much, man. Much love, bro. Tell these good people how they can find you, man. Shit, I'm on um, Instagram. You go J underscore Graham, 1985. And then I'm on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Jay Graham, y'all go find me. Same thing on um, TikTok. Y'all go find me. Got all my videos on there. SoundCloud, um, Jay Graham fan page, and Jay Graham on Apple Music. All for my music shit. Got everything. If you ever need some goddamn modeling, too, I do that too, baby. Oh, uh, hey man, it's been another dope episode at the Chopper Power, man. We in the building with Jay Graham. I am Fat Man. Y'all definitely go like, share, subscribe, man. Go to YouTube and hit that button, man, and yeah. definitely hit the notification. Man, we're going to see y'all on the next one, man. Yeah. Jay Graham, Fat Man at the Chopper Power. Yo. Yeah. There it is, man. Yeah, man. All right, let me, um, on, bro. before I move this table, right? Chopper Power. Power. This the Chopper 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 Power.